Okay, so let's get ready to set up an Arduino with Java. So here's the Arduino board uh, in front of the camera. And now I'm going to go to the Arduino site like this. And I'm going to download the Arduino IDE. Software. Um, all right, let's try this one. Windows 10 and newer Arduino 2. Just download. So we're downloading it right now. Should take a minute or two or less, hopefully. And oh, there it is. All right, let's open that file. So I'm on a modern version of Windows on a modern computer, so it's 64-bit Windows. I'm installing it. I agree. Next. Yeah, we'll go next like that. So we're just using the defaults. So we're now at about the three minute mark. It's taken us about three minutes to get to this point. The Arduino IDE is running for the first time on my computer. So it's a fresh computer, or relatively fresh. All right, so I now have, uh, let's see, do I want to allow this? Yes, I do. I'm gonna say, okay, allow because I need my Arduino IDE to be able to make connections. Uh, yes, I want to allow that. Okay, we're now about four minutes in. It's downloading some library, it's configuring. Oh, here we go. Do we want to allow this from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Uh, DP inst AMD64. The answer is yes. Do I want DP inst AMD64 to make changes? Yes. So I need to make sure that it can download all of the libraries and make all the connections it needs to. All right. So now I have this window open, and this is the Arduino ID. So now I'm gonna plug in my board. So I'm gonna get my cable out. So I'm going to plug this in over here. Okay, that's plugged in at one end, and now I plug it into my computer on the other end. And I should see a light turn on on the board. So now I take a look at selecting the board and it knows that there's something connected to COM3, COM3 on here. And I'm going to pretend that this is a Arduino Nano connected to COM3 like that. I'm going to say OK. So even though this is a Seed Studio Grove beginner kit for Arduino, uh, I'm going to pretend it's an Arduino Nano. And next, I'm going to go to File. Um, I'm going to Examples. I'm going to Fermata. And I'm going to choose Standard Fermata right there. Okay, so I've now got Standard Fermata loading up into its own window. I have the Arduino Nano selected. I'm on COM3 at the bottom of the window, you can see it. And I have the standard formata.ino uh, file loaded right there. So now I'm going to hit the verify button, the check mark. It's going to compile the program and it should be successful. This, this step generally works. And then once it's done, I'm going to download it onto my board. All right, so here we go. 
or sorry, it says upload. So I'm sending it from my computer onto the Arduino board. Click on this. It compiles the sketch one more time. And then it should be flashing some lights on the board. Yep, I saw some lights flashing on the board. And I believe it's loaded. Let's try that one more time. So upload, compiling. Let's make sure it flashes some LEDs on the board. I'm seeing the LEDs flash. We're good. Yep. All right. So that's done. Now, what I need to do is go into Java. Okay. So IntelliJ is what I'm going to load up now. And I have to create a program in Java that will speak to the program that is resident on the Arduino board, the Fermata program that's on the board. All right. So now I go to the blog page where I've got the instructions for this. This is the blog page Easy Java Plus Arduino with Fermata. And I'm going to start a new project. New project. And I'm going to say uh, Arduino V1, like that. I want it in this window. I say next, close. Oh, so this put some sample code inside of my main method. All right, well, um, let's see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore what was put in here at first, and I'm going to import some libraries. So I go to, um, to project structure like there. I go to libraries plus and I'm going to say from Maven. And here, according to that blog page, I need JSSC, like that. I'm going to do a search for it. This is the Java Simple Serial Connector Library. And I need to put version 2.9.4 on here. 2.9.4, that one right there. I say OK. I say OK, and now I have to add another one. So from Maven, I'm going to put in Fermata for Java, Fermata 4J, like that. I'm going to do a search for it. And so we have, let's see, I need 2.3.8, which is this one. OK, so Fermata for J 2.3.8, I say OK, like that. And then I need to install SLF4J from Maven. SLF4J, do a search for that. And I want version 1.7.3. So it's important we get the right versions here. Um, let me see. And this is going to be. SLF4J, SLF4J. Oh, hold on. There's a lot of different versions here. Search, search, search. Still searching the right one. I think, is it the JCL? I'm trying to remember if I had to put the JCL one on here. I think it might have to be that one. Yeah. All right. It's been a while since I've done this. SLF4J JCL 1.7.3.
I believe that's the one. We'll find out. All right. And OK, OK, OK. Click through. Fantastic. OK, so now I need to just get a simple connection working. I've printed out the um, the code that I need to do this. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do import import org dot formata for j dot formata dot star semicolon import org dot formata for j dot io device and that's it right there okay next i need to set up the name of my COM port, my communication port, which is COM3, because I found that in the Arduino IDE. So I'm going to say string my port is equal to COM3 like that. If you're on a Mac uh, or on a different Windows machine, that name will be different. So you got to make sure you get that right. And I need to put this inside of main. So I've got it inside of my main method. Fantastic. Next, I would device. And I'll call it my Grove board because it's a Grove Arduino board. I can name it whatever I want. It is equal to um, from here. It's going to be new formatted device. My port like that. And I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. And now I'm going to do a try catch try and catch I'm going to do an exception okay so I'm doing a try catch block here because I have to attempt to make a connection over USB so I'm going to do my Grove board dot start and then I'm going to do s out board started so this initializes or initiates the connection and then I'm going to do my Grove board dot ensure that the initialization is done because it's complicated. So there's a method for ensuring that the initialization actually worked. And enter. And then my Grove board stop. So I'm going to stop the connection to the board. Oops, not S out. Uh, let's see. Here we go. My Grove board dot stop like that. And then S out, stopped uh, connection. And then down here, I'm going to say S out, could not connect to board. All right, so I have everything I believe that I need for a connection to the board. Let's try and run this. So it's building it, compiling it. And I should look at the LEDs on my board as well while this is happening. So I'm just going to lean over and make sure that I can see the LEDs while it's compiling. Board started. Some flashing on the board. It flashed. There's a warning here, but don't worry about it. Uh, I saw the communication with the board. We have a working installation of Formata and a program written in Formata for Java on my computer. This is all working. Excellent.